Hey, welcome back inside the treasure chest. I'm going to do a quick how-to and how I ship golf clubs. Um, for some of you that are new selling on eBay and stuff, um, you might be shying away from golf clubs because you're not sure how to ship them and you're a little afraid to because they're big and long. Um, so I hope to settle some of the fears for you because if you can make some good money on golf clubs, you can find them very cheap. Um, so we got a three wood here we're going to ship. I use poster boxes from USPS. You can get them for free on their website. You can order packs, I think 25 of them. Um, they take a little while to get, so get them ordered quick. And then you just fold them up like this, making sure the priority side is on the outside. And then once you fold them up, there's these little flaps here. I already folded this one up and started this one, so um, I'll go ahead and continue this one. And then a little touch that I do, you don't have to do this, but this is what I like to do, is I throw a bead of hot glue in here. Um, just like this. I just got this last one to do. And I, I like that just because it, you know, less taping you got to do. And it ensures that that sucker is not going to break open at all. Especially if you got some of the bigger drivers where you got to kind of wedge them in there a little bit. And then these just fold up on the ends as well. Like this. And again, I'll throw a bead of hot glue. I'm a, I'll save the the spare you the demonstration and i'm sure you guys know how to use hot glue but i usually squirt a little hot glue in there and then you can throw some tape on the end and then i typically again you don't have to do this but i'll get the um bubble wrap the small bubble wrap from american bubble boy and i just wrap a quick wrap of uh bubble wrap around this i mean obviously you don't really need to because it's a golf club and they use it for hitting things, so it's pretty sturdy. I guess it gives them something to grab onto too to pull it out of the box. It's just, you know, more presentation too, like I've said in my other videos about shipping things. So then I'll close it up and then you can ship this. Um, it actually ships pretty cheap. Um, I think it's a five by five by 36, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll correct it on the screen if I am wrong. But um, I'll get this packed up and then I'll show you how much this club was to ship. Okay, I got the club all bubble wrapped, so I'm just going to drop it right on in there. Okay, I thought this was going to fit, but it doesn't, um, which is good because I can show you what we do now is I generally just cut this flap off and then we'll fold up another box and slide it right over this one. And again, this will still ship pretty cheap. Uh, just give me a second, I'll get this folded up and glued up, and I'll show you how I slide it right over. Okay, I got the second box folded up. Um, I just kind of guesstimate, you know, you know, you want it overlapping so you can get some strength to it and cut it up, or cut it up, I'm sorry, glue it up, tape it up. And I'll just cut it to length here. Again with my Shed Flips box resizer. And then I've already glued up the end of it. Um, the hot glue, like if you choose to go with the hot glue method, get yourself some long hot glue sticks. They are annoying to change out when they're short and you run out of glue halfway through. We'll drop our thank you card in there. And then we just stuff this right on there. And you might, it, it gets tough. You got to kind of work it a little bit and figure out what works for you to get it in there but it does it goes in there and again the, the box may split open which is fine because I use the hot glue method so I'll just and you want to get it in there kind of as far as you can because you want it to be as short as possible in case you know you get into the dimensional shipping charges Okay, so we got that all the way in there, and then I'm just going to glue this up before I tape it. I'll still tape it, but I just, the glue is not necessary. This is just a method that we have adapted to and enjoy doing because it gives us the assurance that nothing's going to happen to it. My box looks pretty wrinkled because I'm trying to do this fast for the video. And keep you guys hooked into the video here because I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me 
package of golf club for half a day. So that's about it. And then I'll I'll wrap some tape around the seam here to keep it together. And then you just uh, put in your measurements. I believe this is a five by five, they call it for the width and the USPS website and then just add your length and now when I print the label I'll show you how much we end up paying for shipping on this okay we got the label printed um, I think it was like 48 by 5 by 5 um, one pound roughly 15 ounces and it came to eight dollars even so this is going to be shipped from New York upstate New York to uh, Mount Holly North Carolina for eight dollars so, so as you can see it's not that hard to ship golf clubs and it's not that expensive either so definitely a good uh, niche to get into and make some money hope this helps